Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. This time I'm going to talk about how I can select and display information only on those data points which more or less exist in a subquery. To make this a bit clearer what I mean by this, I'm going to directly turn to the example I'm going to talk about here in this case. I have two tables. I have my products with their identifying key of the product code. So each product has a unique product code and then the product is or product code is actually linked to the product's name. On the other hand, I have a list of orders and all the orders consist of certain products which are referred to by their product code. So what I'm going to do now is take a look which product codes exist in the table orders and then for those which exist here in this table, I'm going to go back via the product code and look up the respective product name, but only for those which exist in the order table. If I want to do this, I can start with a simple query. Here I'm going to report the product names from the product table. The only thing new is the part with the where. Of course, now I'm going to do the part which I explained that I'm looking which of those product codes actually exist in the table orders. That's what I'm going to do in a subquery, which I'm going to put in rounded brackets here. So I'm starting as well with select, then I'm working with the orders. So here I'm going to take a look at the product code in the order table. So I'm working with the order table from orders SO. Where? Well, a product code is found which is linked to the products table because I only want to report something on those which I actually have information on. I could leave this as well, then it would just select all the product codes. The last part is more like, let's call this a security measure that I'm not trying to look up product names for product codes which do not exist in my product table. If I did my homework decently well, if I have a decently well working, well kept database, this problem would not occur. However, well, here we're going to go and take particular care. So I'm going to go with where product code in the one table, in the products table, is equal to the product code from the orders table. So where I have information in both of them. So only for those am I going to look up the product name, but also only for those which are actually present in the orders. I'm going to save this take a look at the output and here we see that's actually two, four, six, eight, nine, only eight, nine products are ordered. In particular, if I go back here, I see wire cables. Wire cables are not listed because K019F, that's a product ca uh, code I cannot find in this list of product codes with my orders. So this query actually does what it's supposed to do. It first off in the subquery selects all the product code from the orders. Only those where I have information on in the products table as well, I have to say. And for those product codes, we're going to look up the product names. Well, that's everything I wanted to talk about in this session. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I say goodbye and see you next session.